he said to me, Helen, when my dad, because his dad had died, he said when my dad died, when he was on his deathbed, he said to him, and his dad built like empire upon empire. I mean, his dad, I mean, these people is like old wealth. And his dad said to him, son, Whatever you do, don't follow in my footsteps. And I looked at, let's call him Mr. X. <laughs> I looked at Mr. X and I said, Are you following in his footsteps? I already knew the answer. And he looked at me and he just said, nobody's ever asked me that. And he didn't answer me. And we, we still, you know, we remain friends. We're not, we're not that close anymore now. I don't know really what happened to him. But what I do know is he realized in that moment that he was indeed following in his dad's footsteps. Exactly. I mean, this man didn't have much social skills. He didn't, um, yeah, was not, not um, really taking care of himself that well at that time. And it always stuck with me, the story. Hi, I'm Helen Miller um, from youbeinhappiness.com. Let's dive into the information. Why am I sharing the story with you today? Well, People always say it runs in the blood. And what I want to encourage you today to think about is, no, you are the creator of your life. In every single moment, in every single now, you have the opportunity to create a brand new life, a brand new you. You cannot squander your life away and not think about the important things. It will catch up to you. It will catch up to you. We all have these epiphany moments. I mean, that's just one moment. For him, there was his big epiphany moment right there. You know, his dad pretty much told him, son, do not follow in my footsteps, whatever you do. Meaning his dad, after having built this empire, and I'm not saying your money's bad, building your empire is, is bad at all. What I'm getting here at is, is a couple of things. Number one, if you have your big epiphany, if you have your aha moments, you better do something about it. There's a reason why it's called the aha. There's a reason why it's, you know, it, it touches something inside of you. This is what I thought when I was a kid. I was like, whoa. I literally like, it's like I was seeing my death. And I was like, I cannot, I wouldn't be able to bear with that moment. I would not be able to cope with that moment and look back and think like, I didn't do it. I didn't make the most of my life. And I was telling somebody the other day is sometimes with the, the, the image that you have of your own life, where you wanted to go, is not always the, the, the path that's, you know, the, how can I say, the path of most, gr most growth. And how do you identify this? How do you identify which one is the, the, the one with the most growth? Or, you know, should you just keep on doing the thing that you are good at, that you believe that you should do, that you want? How do you differentiate between these two things? Well, there's very important factors we need to look at here is your intuition. If your intuition is not on point, if your intuition is not sharp as a blade, Samurai blade. Then you need to first look at that. If you are not at peace inside, if you still have like questions about life, 
like, Ooh, who am I? Where am I? What am I doing here? What's my purpose? <laughs> Have a look here. Let me see. Let me like prioritize. We talk about priorities in business all the time. But do you have the same discipline with prioritizing the inner world, your inner business? Why? And, and if, you, if you're not doing that, why? And don't tell me I live religion or spirituality. It's nothing to do with religion or spirituality. I don't advocate religion or spirituality in anything like what I do. But people tell me it's a spiritual. No, it's not spiritual. It's life. Yes, we are um, spiritual beings having a human experience. But it's nothing to do with spirituality or religion or stuff like that. It's about being a human being. And being a human being is knowing who and what you are. Yes, Alan, I'm a human being. No, it's not like that. What, is, what does it mean to be a human being? What is the purpose of, of humans coming to Earth here? Have you thought about this? As you guys can see, it's, 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 I, I, the reason why I'm so adamant about this all the time is because of that moment. That moment that Mr. X had, or his dad had, which was a big aha. And if I can leave you with anything today here, let's look at two things here. Think about the priorities from the inner world. Make sure that you, you really go and sit down. If it, it doesn't take a long time, it just takes you to ask yourself a couple of questions. And happiness is one of those things. If you are living with these fundamental questions quite comfortably, I would see it as a big warning sign. Because why? You slave yourself away, you go crazy of just, you know, putting food on the table and, and you know, like kind of carving out this path for you in the third dimensional reality here. Yet you are quite comfortable with putting the fundamental things to the side. I'm not saying this is everybody. I'm saying this is a big portion of the world because it's very easy to put it to the side. It's very easy to, for it to be comfortable. How can you or make it comfortable? Just keep yourself busy. Just ignore it. Ignorance is bliss. Ignore it. Keep yourself comfortable. Um, you know, make sure your life is so full of so many exciting things that you don't have time to think about it. You kind of like, you know, it's kind of like dopamine, um, dopamine tricks. So if you if you can gen if you teach yourself or if you become, become in the habit of uh, of generating a lot of dopamine for yourself, in other words, dopamine hits um, could be substances, could be coffee, could be sex, could be uh, just anything that's giving you a hit of dopamine. It could be something you watch. It could be relationship addiction. It could be food. It could be just you know work 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 work. Like, and you can trick yourself like that and say, no, nah, I'm happy, <laughs> cut it on smash. Yet do that if that's what you want to do. I'm, I'm not perfect in the sense as well. Of course, I'm also going for some dopamine hits at times. Yet I've already taken care of this fundamental thing. If you must imagine yourself dying and you'd be like, you know, did I do that thing? Did I figure out those questions? What did I do? Don't settle for that moment. That moment can come even in, you know, soon. We're not guaranteed a day here. So we need to be very grateful. Until next time, be happy, be free. Remember I love you and I believe in you. Please like, subscribe, and I see you next time.